Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, this is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for some time, but first, hold up. Let me put my intro. Let me put my intro. Yes, welcome to my channel. So we're talking about Angelica Oles. I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time, but... Angelica Oles has like half a million people following her. Um, there's just this general sentiment that y'all don't actually really care about black people. I'm not saying like you specifically watching. I'm just saying in general. So I just never did. But my girl Pearl Swell was going to react to her reacting to somebody else who is detailing the problematic things Angelica Oles has been doing. Before we get into it, because it's gonna be a long video, okay? I'm taking a break from my job. My job is stressing me the hell out, okay? So we're taking a little break to talk about this, okay? This is gonna be a long video, so let me tell you right off the bat why I unsubscribe from Angelica Oles, and then we're gonna get into this video that has the actual receipts, okay? Here we go. So number one, I felt like she is has double standards with the people that she report. Well, number one, hold up. Number one is that she has no original thought. Like, she has no, like, she doesn't, like you like my friend. If I could just put on, if I could just put on a British accent and just regurgitate what all of you lot have been saying and make my cashmere la money that way. I would love to do it. I would love to be a part of it because she really just regurgitates what all the other drama channels say. Like, just notice, like, if you haven't noticed this, just notice, just pay attention, follow all the other drama channels, see when they come out with some tea, see when they come out with some tea and then see how Angelica Oles will come five days later saying the exact same thing they said. Like, she's waiting five days so she can gather what everybody else is saying and regurgitate it. Number one, I had an issue. Like, just my personal preference. Okay, my per my pers that one's a personal one, right? That's a personal, that my, not my cup of tea, right? Whatever, fine. But then I noticed that she has double standards, right? Like, one week somebody does something wrong. The next week somebody else does that exact same thing wrong. She has no issue with it. Right, one one week, uh, somebody is messaging people of a certain age, and next week somebody else messages people of a certain age. But that that we're gonna let that pass. Like she has a double standard, which kind of makes sense because she's literally just regurgitating what she's already heard. So she's also regurgitating the opinions of what she's heard. So some people have a bigger fan base than others, or some people have a hate train. Some people don't, and so her opinion. Her opinion wavers with where the hate train is because she doesn't actually share her literal opinion. She just shares what she knows will get her clout. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. Because we know this because also, number three, she flip-flops, right? One day she loves Trisha Paytas, the next day, oh my gosh, I can't believe Trisha Paytas is it. It's like, girl... Two months ago, you were kicking about how you love when Trisha Paytas does ABC, and today you acting like it's such, a, such an egregious act that she did ABC, the thing that you were just applauding two months ago. Like, she flip-flopped like that. She do complete, like, she Tony Hawk in this, like, she is doing, like, triple axles on the skateboard with this, like, I can't, and so that alone is enough for me to be like, I don't really F with you because I don't like people like that. Like, I like people who stand, like, I like people who have a thought, who have a belief. They stand 10 toes in it. And if their belief changes because they had some more information that caused them to have their belief change and they are not ashamed of that. Like, you're not ashamed. Like, you are a rational human being. You use your rational mind and you're honest and you're authentic with it. That's who I like to F's with. So there's a lot of people that I don't even agree with them. I don't even agree with them on certain things, but I will rock with you. I will rock with you hard because you say what you mean and you mean what you say. And you're not afraid of evidence. You're not afraid to be wrong. You're not afraid to better yourself. You're not afraid. You're literally in pursuit of what is best for humanity and what is the truth. That is what you're truly in pursuit of. You're not just in here for some stupid, like, foise, foise, foise. And that's why I asked with Smokey Glow because number four is her response to Smokey Glow because... 
Smokey Glow is a white woman, okay? Smokey Glow does not have to be in this chick trying to educate uh, people, right? Like, Smokey Glow, like, when you're white, listen, when you are white, or I don't know, girl, if, if I was in Korea, then I would be saying if you are Asian, I don't know, girl. If you are part of a of a majority class, of a majority segment, there are things in life that you are not exposed to because you have the privilege of being part of the majority. That's so that's just the way it is. That's just the way life is. And when you're a minority, you know that. Like you come to learn that. Like you have no choice but to learn it because you will experience too many microaggressions and too many things that just don't make logical sense that you, you just, you have to come to grips with it. And then if you're lucky enough, you will meet some people who are at least honest with you and let you know. I went to a PWI, a predominantly white institution for college. And so I befriended a lot of people who just let me know the truth. Like I got to have these conversations like all my life. I kind of felt like da, 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 and I just want to know like, is that what is that what the game is? Is that what the tea? And they would tell me, yes, girl, that's the tea. It's unfortunate. It's sad. I'm, you know, da, 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 da. but when you're part of the majority, you don't have to acknowledge it, right? So if you're part of the majority and you're acknowledging an issue that affects people who are not like you, um. For some, some people feel like, well, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm not going to congratulate you for doing what you're supposed to do. But really, you don't have to do that. Like, really, it takes a certain type of person to actually be introspective enough and curious enough about other human beings to ask, how come these other human beings are not experiencing life the way that I am? It takes a certain type of person, and that's the type of person that I F with. Okay, now to take it to the next level, take it to the next level where you're the type of person who, when you see somebody perpetuating some bullshit, you're going to call them out. Even if that's your friend, I rocks with you. Like you are coming to my cookout because that is how, that is how we have to do it. Like that, that is how it has to be done. Because if someone is perpetuating some, some, some bullshit. They're not going to say it in front of the people that they're talking about. They'll say it in front of you because they think that you are like them. So if you let it be known that actually your behavior isn't acceptable, even when you're amongst people like us, that's how you get people to change. Okay. And so like, I know there's this trend on TikTok right now where it's like, it's kind of like this trend where. Oh, somebody's about to say something racist or whatever, homophobic or whatever. And you like, I'll take the SMIQ to leave. But we're not celebrating that trend because at least when it comes to the racism front, the racism, I don't want to be demonetized, but at least when it comes to that front, if, if somebody who looks like you is saying something that's not appropriate, you don't want to turn around and leave. Why wouldn't you want them to know that they're not being appropriate? Why would you want to leave? Because you know that we can't do that. Like if they're saying some, something about people who look like me that's ignorant, you know I can't come, you know I can't talk to them. You know they won't listen to me. You know they won't they may not even say that to me. But they'll say it to you. You have an opportunity to to make that person realize what they're doing, what they're saying. Right? I've had I've had those moments. I've had those moments where people were making fun of certain religions and have to be like, hey, like that's not cool. Like, how would you feel if somebody said you're a Christian? Like somebody could very easily say that you're delusional for believing in a sky daddy. Like you can't be saying you know, I've had I've had those conversations in church. I've had those conversations with, you know, <sighs> girl with some Africans has some certain conversations. Like you cannot be saying that, you know what people say about us. So why, how would you, why do you feel okay to say that about other people? Cause they look different. Like you have to have those conversations with people who are in your group. That is if you truly, if you truly feel like you're woke or you don't need to call it woke. Like woke is such a trigger word these days and it, it makes things sound dumb. But if you're actually somebody who's trying to, like understand the world and make make it a better place for everybody that's what you signed up for so the thing about angelica Olds is that i know i've been talking for 10 minutes i haven't we haven't even gotten into reacting to this video 
The thing about Angelica Oles is that her whole YouTube channel is based on this premise, this premise of calling out other people for bad behavior, calling out other people for not being woke enough, essentially. And it's fake wokeness. It's fake wokeness that'll get you every time because that's not what you truly believe. And if that's not what you truly believe, if you truly don't believe that, if you truly are not an advocate for understanding the plight of other human beings, then the truth will come out because that's just who you are. And you won't like it when other people put out the truth. You won't like it when somebody who actually is down with the shits is putting out the truth that you're not. You won't like it. And that's what happened with Smokey Glow, her friend, who tried to call her out. And Adilka Oles gave the same tired-ass response that people like her always give. And at that point, I had to unsubscribe because Trick... You are not finna just utilize me. This is what I can't say. Like, I wish people would just leave black. Just please leave us alone. Like, please leave us alone. Like, they really trying to use us for a check. I will not participate. You know what I mean? Like, you know exactly what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. You know what I mean when you see the headlines, uh, liberals, bad mouth, a black, in all caps, black woman. You've seen those stupid ass headlines. And I really wish y'all would just leave us alone. We are not your little toy. We are not your little clout toys, please. Please. And I want, I just, I wish more people would be aware of it so you can realize this is some stupid BS that they don't actually believe in. They're just trying to use us to make some money. And the Jellicoe Oats makes it abundantly obvious. And then her whole thing with the Gabby Hanna, I was already unsubscribed from her. I already wasn't effing her with her with that Gabby Hanna stuff. Listen, Gabby Hanna, she wild now. Okay, Gabby Hanna is like Gabby Hanna is something else. But when Gabby Hanna came out with her series, and she re brought up the young woman who was unalive, she re brought it up. Like Gabby Hanna, why did you do that? We know, we know, we know. Like we there's we have made enough content about Gabby Hanna why you wildin'. So Angelica Oles, why would you take it upon yourself to take it to the next level? Angelica Oles took it upon herself to message the mother of that child just so she can make a YouTube video saying Gabby Hanna actually lied because I actually messaged the the deceased girl's mother and the mom told me did it did it like you want some high school like playground BS like for real for real for real like I just have no respect for Angelica Oles like whatsoever. Like, like especially after that, because I'm one of these people who feel that people can change. I do feel that. And you, Angelica Oles just displays. She just shows that she doesn't, she cannot change. Like, like that. Th this is, I'm not saying Angelica Oles is as bad as Creepshow are, but what I'm saying is there's a lot of these people who are fake woke so that you will watch them, but they are not really that. And I would, you know, Angelica Oles, I would rock with you better if you would just say what you truly believe. Stop regurgitating other people's stuff. Stop pretending like you give a damn. And just be honest and truthful, send ten toast in it. And we can go, we can, we'll know not to mix. We'll know not to cross. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are some parts, there are some parts, there are some parts down here in the South where they let their stance be known so you know not to cross. But when you're trying to pretend, when you're trying to tiptoe over, when you want us to commingle, but you're really not about that life, that's not cool. Because if this was real life, somebody can get like for real, for real hurt. If this was real life, that kind of BS can get people messed up for real, for real. Okay. <sighs> Let's get into this video. So just so you know. This is my friend Pearl Swirl. Subscribe to her. Um, she's reacting to this video by oh, I don't know who this content creator is. Let's check her out. Okay, this creator, her name is Cringy. Subscribe to her as well. So basically, I'm I'm reacting to my friend Pearl Swirl, react to Cringy, but you gonna get the same gist, okay? You get in two for the price of one baby, but go and support these girlies because they bring it out. They are talking on something that actually is important to me and I have felt discouraged from talking about it. And them talking about it is giving me the strength to, you know, contribute. I know I'm a small channel, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I'm not contributing much, but I'm contributing and we out here. Talking about drama and online controversy but she does have a problem when it comes to listening to minority groups and actually taking criticism from, well, anyone. A blonde? I'm going to go yeah. this year. I mean, yeah. some people may say, why are you talking about this? This is stale tea. It's cold tea. We've already been over this. 
However, there are certain things that I have learned in the last couple of weeks, which has shown that she definitely hasn't learned anything from this. Angelica made a response video to everything that she's been accused of and the drama surrounding her earlier this year. It wasn't good. I'm just going to say that. It wasn't very good. One of the things that she really is was blocking black people on Twitter for (gasps) correcting her about black issues the reason that's some jesse that's some jesse nelson stuff like i will never understand like i will never understand why would you block people from a community that's educating you on on something that you're doing that's harmful to their community like what is wrong with you like i don't like people like that i can't i mm -mm -mm. it's giving remember britney dawn and doing that scam and she would block all of the customers who are asking for refunds, she will block them. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, what's wrong with you? Like, you you, you don't want to live life. Like, you don't want to be... <laughs> why aren't you participating in life, like, in a reasonable way? Why are you doing this? She of course she did. She Look what she say, though. Look what she has to say for herself. Oh, so in Cringy's video, she's explaining what's black fishing, yada, yada, yada. Yo, if at this point you don't know what it is, please Google. Like, Cringy did a really good job explaining it. But also, if you're like, I don't want to watch that, then just Google it. Like, please do not come up in my comment section with some blase, blase. Google is free. Google is free. We're not going to be up here trying to edu- re- like really put effort into educating you on something that you can Google for free. And there is adequate YouTube videos explaining it, including this one. So you can go check it out. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Angelica had to say for herself. Kardashians live in people's heads. This Angelica said it's like the Kardashians live in people's heads rent free. Hey! I make some jokes. I said like... She lives in people's heads rent free and that um there are losers making these fake news stories which i've noticed it's so dumb because your whole youtube channel your whole career is about people who live in your head rent free and you chastising them and spilling the tea on what mishaps and drama that they're getting into and you have the audacity to talk about kardashians and people's head rent free and call them losers then doesn't that make you an ultimate loser like 500,000 subscribers strong losers? Just a lot of the time that it's not black people doing this. It's sometimes white people that just try- And who gives a damn? No, no, no. I used to rock with that. I used to rock with that. I used to be like, oh, it's white people who are upset. Um, I don't rock with that anymore because what that's done, what we're seeing is that other white people are using that as an excuse to not care. So it's like, okay, so I understand there, there, don't get me wrong. There are trolls who it will be a fully grown white person with a fake avatar talking about, I am 100% Navajo and uh, like they will, they will lie, lie, they lie, lie, they lie. Just, you know, so they can see you be in misery. We understand that, but also there are like, like you need to, like this is giving, what's making me realize is like, you. so y'all really think, y'all really feel that white people can't understand what's going on. Like you really feel like white people don't actually care what's going on, which by and large, I don't think they do. And by and large, I don't think they do because they don't know what's going on or they don't understand. And they don't know or understand because they don't have to live it. So they don't have to know or understand, right? Like you, Angelica Oles, you show that you don't understand time and time again, even though you want to pretend with your channel content that you do, you don't. So it's like, y'all really feel like it's just not possible for a white person to actually try to champion for somebody who doesn't look like them. That's really gross. Like, what does that say about what you truly believe? Try to, I guess, make a joke out of a situation, but it actually just takes attention away from the actual issues of the situation. So I guess, in my head, when I said, living in your head rent-free and losers and all of that stuff, loser behavior and all of that that I said, uh, at no point did I think I was saying that to black women. We know you didn't think. We know you don't think. 
You don't think about, because you don't care about black women. So of course you didn't think, we know. That's the problem, Angelica. That's the problem. We know you don't think about us or care about us. What that lends itself to is you being ignorant on issues that affect us. But instead of listening, what you did is you blocked us. You blocked us for trying to educate you. And using the excuse, well, it was white people. Oh, and, and what? Like, was, were they wrong? Wait, 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 wait. Were they wrong though? But also it wasn't just black. It wasn't just white people. Like, first of all, were they wrong? Second of all, it wasn't, you were blocking black people. <laughs> like you were blocking black people and mixed people, my friend, my, my British, British comrade. As if people were making a massive mountain out of a molehill and it wasn't a big deal. When it is. In response to this, people decided to tell Angelica that she was wrong. And she blocked them. Her defense of this, she thought they were white or white passing people. But then she goes on to show some of the Twitter avatars for some of these people. And they are clearly not white. So it's not my apology. Some of them ain't even real. They're famous people. That was their day. Objectively, it is a weak what? apology because clearly you weren't just blocking people who looked white or people. And that's and that's a stupid white. like what like what are you doing? Dive into something that I can um, with confidence talk about because I am Jewish, ethnically, not religiously. So oh, girl, I didn't even know about this Jewish one. I did not even know. I don't identify as Jewish. I know I don't please I don't want to see these comments like every time I talk about my ethnic tribe. Yeah, because hi, hi everybody. So black people also have different ethnicities within them, just like every other race of people. Okay, not it's not everybody in this world that's just like I'm white and they don't know like what ethnic tribe that they come from you know what i mean like it's not everybody in the world who's like that like in other everywhere else in the world people actually know their ethnicity beyond just their race okay so i'm just i'm just saying that because there's there's always something there's always something in the comments who are like what do you mean you have a different ethnicity? You're black. Like there's a girl, there's always somebody. But anyway, and there's also always somebody who want to come tell me that I'm Jewish. My ethnic group, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know the definitive information, but there's, there's evidence to show that we are also Jewish. The thing is, most of us, we don't identify that way. Like, you know, you are not going to go to my village and start telling us that we're Jewish. Like we, if we're Jewish, that tradition, that knowledge has been lost. It's been gone. It's gone. Um, so, you know, like I appreciate, I appreciate it. I just want to see, I just, oh, I just want to, I don't want to see those comments today. Um, but anyway, my point is, I don't even know about this Jewish stuff and, this is an example of when you when you are not part of a certain community, there are things you're not privy to, right? So there's absolutely nothing wrong with like shutting the hell up and learning because you're not part of that community. So you don't know because you don't have to know, right? So if we actually want to understand other people, this is a learning opportunity. Keep that in mind throughout the next part of this video. These white matter videos are two instances in particular. The first reason why Angelica was accused of being anti-Semitic is because she saw a Snapchat story, a series, a Snapchat series, uh -huh. in which a person was doing a theatrical reenactment of what a 1940s event would be like if Snapchat existed at the time. Angelica reacted to this and said it was disgusting and she thought it was somewhat trivializing the event. So recently I went on okay, Twitter and I let's saw see. this, uh, which is Snapchat did something. Snapchat's always doing something. I don't have Snapchat anymore, um, so I just have to see this on Twitter. But they did a what if a girl in the force had Snapchat. Okay. But like, you know, they had the 
of like awareness time now. I, I'm not sure what the exact dates were, but it was sometime in January. Um, they had a lot of like um, celebrations for the people that Girl, were there. Girl, um, look at the. She says celebrations. <laughs> we don't celebrate. We mourn. Angelica, this is this is the other thing about Angelica. Angelica is consistently talking out of her ass. Like she does not know. Like she consistently talks about things that she doesn't know anything about. And what's worse is now we see that she has a history of blocking people who try to correct her. You know, spoke up if they survived it. They spoke up about the whole situation. If they have any relatives that went through it, it was just a time to basically just say this was a time in our history, and we will never repeat it again. Uh, and Snapchat said it's, instead of paying tribute to the people that survived, people that went through it, people that came out alive, or they decided to do a what if a girl in course had snapchat and the posts included a girl saying they took my cousin to poland and then a picture of her and this is the evil man who sent my cousin to poland uh okay that's all the ones i have on here i'm sure there are more how disgusting wait 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 she was disgusting is that wait it's too no okay let let's see because i personally i don't see what's wrong i don't see what's wrong with that and those are literally the two she's saying how disgusting based off these two images um, and she's supposed to be like, am I the only one? Yeah, yeah, I think you are. But let hold on, let's see, let's I see. Are, no, I can't be the only one. Disgusting. This is absolutely grim. I don't even have to explain to people why that is gross. Wow. No, you do. You do. Girl, I'm I'm away for I'm away for this Jewish girl to educate us. Snapchat really did something there. Not knowing that this series was created by a Jewish person. Mm. The event education is very lacking in many different countries across the globe, and therefore utilizing social media to teach people about the event, the event yeah. would be very useful. In this case, I think it was just a demonstration. Can I just say something? That you can say something. What you say? I've noticed in this community. What and girl? I noticed that I was doing. I think like last year couple months ago maybe i mean maybe like the beginning of this year is that people hop on stuff right mm -hmm. like you're something you find out about something they're like oh let me hop on it let me do a video that's exactly what angelica and does throw it in my video and no thought process whatever, like, no thought attract you know growth and clicks and all of that stuff but mm -hmm. like what i've noticed is there are times where i come across a story that i would love to talk about but i don't know a lot about it or i really don't have a say in, in, in it you know what I mean like because obviously you want to hear my opinions right and I'm grateful for that but there are certain things that yes. I feel like my opinion doesn't need exactly I wish and Angelica doesn't put that thought process in her stuff period at all I wish more people in our YouTube community would think this way because like like okay it's like every week every other week that somebody's apologizing to black people for something oh i said you caught me saying the n-word i'm sorry all right and why is it that it's always the white creators that come out saying well that apology's not good enough like the apology wasn't for you you know what i mean like they just come like they, there's no thought process they really just trying to get clicks and here's the other thing like i really wish y'all would just leave us alone like y'all trying to get clicks get clicks without us leave us alone like i can, you know exactly what i'm talking about especially especially in conservative media you'll see it liberals chastise a all caps black woman actually actually that black woman is a human being who does not exist for you to capitalize upon how she looks and how she's part of a oppressive system because of how she looks like, actually, can you just leave us alone make your dollars another way? Like, please, please leave us alone. And if it's something that's not for you to speak on, why are you speaking on it? Like, why do you really think somebody's going to apologize for saying the N word and your opinion on that apology is what's needed? Like, why do you think, why do you think that? Why do you think? Keep, keep going, girl. Keep going. Of a narrative, you know what I mean? And I struggle.
struggle sometimes with that because obviously, yeah, I want to make coin. Yeah, I want to have a million subscribers mm -hmm. on YouTube and stuff like I that. I would love but it. There's another part of me that's just very much like, dude, I'm not going to talk about something that like is not necessarily something I should be talking about. Exactly. You know I, mean? I don't know. Like, I'm not saying that what she said was wrong because obviously it wasn't, but. What I'm saying is it's very easy to point out these people that talk about things to get a rise or it's kind of mm -hmm. like what we saw last year, right? So Black Lives Matter, white people have put Black Lives Matter all over their But it's Tana Mojo. <laughs> Twitter, you know, and not that that was wrong, but, you know, what are those people doing now? A lot of them don't have black friends. A lot of them don't do anything for the black community. A lot of them aren't any And a lot community. of them, when they get called out on being microaggressive towards black people, they want to act like, it was just junk. It was just junk. <laughs> It's a sponsor. It's a sponsor. BLM out of their bios already, right? But they still have this narrative as if they. And what what I won't, what I can't stand is what y'all did. Not you specifically, but you know what I mean. What y'all did to these companies that didn't put the Black Lives Matter? Y'all harassing these companies like yeah, like sometimes a company is just really not trying to get involved in in anything, in anything. They're not trying to get involved. They just want to sell textiles. You know, or sometimes a company actually just really not about that life. Like, like what y'all need to understand is there are some people who they truly, they're just, they really, they are actually just not about that life. Like, they actually just don't think that. Like, they, <laughs> like there are people who exist who actually do not think certain people matter. Like, there's people who think like that. And what you're not going to do, what you're not going to do is use us for your anger brigade. Like, it's like people just want to see other people be miserable. You're not going to use us in our plight to try to, to try to, to try to, you know, I don't know what you call it. Like, play psychological games on somebody who just, you know, it's just not with that vibe. Like, what you're not going to do is try to bully them into putting Black Lives Matter when they actually don't believe that. Like, what, that's not what you're not going to do. Because, again, we can respect somebody. If you have your belief, you have your belief, stand ten toes in it, and we know not to cross. But if you're going to start pretending and playing games and leading us all to believe that we can commingle when you're really not about that life... In real in real life, that can cause people that causes people a lot of issues. Like in real life, in real life, that cause. I'm not. I do. I even need to go into it. Anyway, let's keep going. We are still a part of that without any action. Do you see what I mean? Like, do you see why I don't? of Angelica's severely lacking knowledge when it comes to researching. I myself, at the very least, don't believe this in itself is anti-Semitic. Although not doing your research, which leads you to calling a Jewish person, telling the story of the event that impacted their family and their people, disgusting, that's pretty bad. Girl. And you should Again, Angelica Oles... She does not, she does not have thoughts of her own. Like whatever she posts on YouTube, that's not what she believes. Point blank period. She just regurgitated somebody else's outrage so she can get clicks and clout and 500,000 subscribers. Because like, you can't tell me you saw those two images and you became outraged and disgusted. No, that's not what you did. You heard somebody else talk about it. You heard somebody else have their outrage. And then you went to, you re-downloaded Snapchat and try to find it. And you could only find those two images and you going to play like, yeah, I watched it. I watched the whole thing. There's more girl, get the hell out. And also this is why she doesn't take y'all seriously. This is why when you call her out on her microaggression, she doesn't take it seriously because she is a white person caping for a community that she's not a part of, Right. That's what she just did, and she wasn't real about it. So she assumes that if you're a white person caping for other people, that you're not real about it, because that's what she do. It's a reflection. It's a mirror. It's a projection. Yo. Mm. Ironically enough, my dear friend Jesse Quinn tried to educate Angelica about this. Was blocked on Twitter. Girl. Was, I'm going to assume. Because you're a cockroach. <laughs> 
Jewish You're nobody to her, baby. Yo, fuck entirely f you, Angelica. Like, in, like, in, like entirely. Okay, yo, yo. Angelica Oles is not on my list. That's why when Gabby Hanna was wilding out with her series, right? Gabby Hanna, like, Gabby Hanna, you wilding out, girl. But when it came to, first of all, um, no, let me not, I'm, I'm, let me not badger on about Gabby Hanna. I will just say when it came to Gabby Hanna talking about Angelica Oles, she kept, she kept mentioning Angelica Oles. And people were playing dumb, like, why are you talking about Angelica Oles? Y'all, because Angelica Oles is a snake. Like, Angel like Angelica Oles really is that snaky, snaky snake. Like, I'm sorry, Angelica Oles, you on my list now. Like, you on my, you you know, you got your list, right? You got your list. Angelica Oles, you on there. Damn, you even black, girl, what is wrong with you? Like, how are you really going to come out with a video saying, Oh my gosh, this is so offensive to Jewish people. Then when a Jewish person's trying to educate you on what's going on, you block them. What is wrong with you? Like somebody please explain, please, in the comments, please. I need, I need, here's the thing about me. When something just doesn't make sense, it's rocking my head. Like, oh, I just need a theory. I just need something that can make it cohesive. Oh, hold up. She got a gap. Hey, gap gang. Not just the video, which Red lip so gap gang. Essentially, gang here, gang. Um, it was January of 2020 um, because that's when Remembrance Day is. I then mm. also tweeted at because I just thought like she should say something and see it. Um, and I also DM'd her. As a result of that, she blocked me. We're blocking black people and now we're blocking Jews. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag woke. <laughs> the next thing yeah, to is the fact that Angelica referred to organized religion as a word I can't say but rhymes with small t. Oh, C U L T? Girl. Angelica. Listen, I'm. We have tiptoed. We have tiptoed discussing religion and stuff like that. We've tiptoed, okay? If you follow me, you know I have a big, 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 big problem with evangelical American Christianity. I have a big, big, big problem. Um, now, let's listen. Uh, let's listen to Angelica talk out her ass again. Here, let's go. Religion. It's not organized religion, but organized religion is some of the most I've ever seen, and that is the tea on that. Oh, okay. Um, that's offensive to a lot of people, but mm, listen, I understand why she's saying that. I get, I get why you say that. What, but why would I mean, you can't be no, but you. Girl, you cannot make the kind of content that you make where you pretend like you're an insightful person and then just make a blanket statement like that to something because really because organized religion is also linked to cultures. Right? Like this is too much. Like this is too much to, like, maybe let's see if cringy can explain. Please explain, girl. Two reasons why people may view organized religion as smalty is, number one, the idea that a person must follow the way of a particular religion or they will burn in hell. Or two, the idea that members of organized religion must convert others. Mm. These are two of the most common reasons why people think organized religion might be a bit smalty. Mm-hmm problem mm -hmm. judaism is one of the biggest organized religions in the world mm -hmm. and Jews don't even have an official concept of the afterlife you there is no yo like that's exactly what i'm saying i can see why you would say that why somebody would say that right why any? I can see why anybody would say what angelica all said but you are supposed to be somebody who's a little bit more insightful like, you are supposed to understand that there's more religions in the world than just evangelical Christianity. Like, 
like you you need to understand there are organized religions that actually have no fear-based teaching have no um recruiting element have no like all the things that make it have no um like brainwashing element like you you like that's a bit like that type of blanket statement for somebody like you who you're trying to portray yourself to be Angelica that was stupid I'm sorry that was dumb don't believe in hell secondly Jews don't proselytize Jews do not Mm -hmm. ask people to convert historically Jews have been accused of many different things you can watch my video on SRA and see some of the things Jews have been accused of Jews have historically been accused of harming people who aren't in their tribe or pressurizing people to join them. So when you say organized religion is smalty, you're kind of incorporating Judaism. You're incorporating everything. You're incorporating Taoism, Buddhism, and whatever else I can't even think of. You're incorporating all religions and all sects because uh, you're making a blanket statement. Absolutely, exactly. I was just about to say that, but I wanted to hear her her, her point thoroughly. I mm-hmm. took a major world religion course in college because I had this bias. Because I wanted mm-hmm. to be a pastor. There was a time where I wanted to be a pastor. I wanted to have an organized religion community, whatever you want to call it, right? So it's interesting how immediately in my mind I knew what she meant when she said organized religion meaning angelica when angelica was yep. talking, I know what she meant yep she mean it in this aspect probably not obviously not i don't think so but that's what i mean about the way you you say things what you say how it's conveyed and what i'm noticing is a lot of people who do commentary videos especially like angelica where she's just sitting down she's just talking there's not really a lot of other things going on whether that's like a video or even graphics or gifs or whatever it is it's very conversational right so it feels like it's just a friend just like mm-hmm. you know, it feels like i'm just talking to a friend right but there is also an aspect of how do i say this? there you can tell when someone's just filming Right? Like, it's just being filmed, and you can tell, like, when things are being cut out, right? And Mm -hmm. that's why I can highlight those things here on my channel. Like, oh, something was just cut out. Or, you know, just so you also are self-aware of when things are cut out as well. Even when things are cut out in my videos, even if if you don't notice it, I'll put in the comment section, like, oh, I cut this out, or, oh, there's a cut right here because of this or that. You know what I mean? And I think that the reason I state this is because more YouTubers need to get in the habit of that instead of putting their opinion just blatantly out out there without like actually cutting out what they don't know yeah you right. you have to because yeah like you're not just chatting with girlfriends you know what i mean like because i could see if uh, if i ever was friends with angelica Olds, which i i just i don't say the universe where we're friends like i just i don't see it but if we ever were and we're just sh- sh- shooting the breeze and stuff and she would say something like that and I would be like, oh, what do you mean, like Christian, like Christianity, or like all of the religion? Like I would, we would be in conversation. Like she would, I would ask a question that would make her realize, oh, what I said was a really big blanket statement, and I'm not getting across what I mean to get across. And she would, you know, we would go deeper into the conversation, and there would be no issue, right? But you're making a YouTube video, like it's just you, it's just you in your head on camera. You have you have to be aware that. Yeah, to some degree, if somebody doesn't like what you say, screw them. But also, to another degree, to another degree, um, am I getting across what I'm trying to get across, right? I've taken down videos because um, I was not getting across what I'm trying to get across. And I had to, like, reshoot the video (laughs) to, like, do a better job so that people can, if you disagree with me, it's because you disagree with my idea and not just, you said that in a really, you said that in a way that I, we're not understanding what you mean. So like, that's something that comes with the YouTube territory. She does, she acts like she doesn't care. Why? Because she just regurgitates stuff. Like she doesn't put thought into her shit, man. Angelica has unfortunately fell into the trap of just say Christianity. <laughs> it's baby. Exactly. Baby. Baby. Christianity. <laughs> she didn't want to say it though. The idea of eternal Why wouldn't she want to say it though? Why not say it? Which is the idea of conversion. 
I know that Islam has a concept of an eternal damnation. Not so sure about the conversion idea, but oh, girl, that's a whole history. When you say organized that's a religion, whole history. you are referring to the top three organized religions, which includes yeah, like we get it, we get it, yo, yo. You know what I'm saying? My perspective, this is just a case of ignorance, a lack of reason, again, fumbled wording. Again, but the next as usual. Part is something I would definitely consider anti Semitism. Ooh, girl. Let me remind you, anti Semitism. <laughs> me and Paul are making the same face. <laughs> or hatred towards the Jewish people. Then there was another one where I was apparently saying things against Jewish people that was being an anti-Semite, which mm-hmm. doesn't make sense because I'm Polish. With Jewish people going through a huge tragedy, Polish people went through that tragedy with them. The concentration camps were in Poland. Polish people were. Ma'am. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, okay, cause she, what she just said, <laughs> what she just said is the equivalent. Of an American Southerner saying, "How can you call me anti-black? My family was. I'm. I'm from the South. My family was right there when, <laughs> when we were selling and enslaving these certain people. My family was right there when the police force." was created for the sole purpose of catching people of a certain skin tone. So how dare you say I'm anti black? That's what what she just said. Like that's the equivalent. Like so my bad. I thought she was British this whole time. Or is she Polish living in, in the UK? You know what? We finna put as much research into Angelica Ols as she does into everything else she say. She cannot be anti-Semitic because she's Polish. Right. Yo. Right. Yo. She didn't just, she didn't, it's not just a miswording. It's a whole mislogical thought. It's a whole misfiring of the synapses. She can't be anti-Semitic. <laughs> oh, I can't raise it. down a few things. In the 1700s, the partition of Poland occurred. In which Poland was a girl, bring out the Wikipedia and instead had laws implemented by the increasingly anti Semitic Russian Empire. The first partition happened in 1772, and the second was officially signed in 1793. <laughs> well, before the event happened, so it's almost as yo, as she she, this cringy girl coming with some experience. information, yo, just for brevity's sake skipping through but yo go check out her video because she's coming with some information like she is roasting i had already like i talked about in the first 13 minutes of the video i already had my issues with angelica Oles. i did not even know about this anti-semitic stuff like i did not oh i did not even catch it y'all it is not minority based i found out that tipster had been blocked by angelica for criticizing her video regarding james of Charles's course. apology and she blocked him for criticizing her. Of course. So when it comes to minority yeah. groups, she blocks them. And when it comes to oh, and criticism that is not harsh or hateful in the slightest. And, blocked- sorry, we skipped that part. We skipped the part where she said she tried to educate Angelica on how Poland was very anti-Semitic and she blocked her. So, and now she's just basically showing... It's not just minorities that she's blocking, but she'll just block you for criticizing her point blank period. Okay. I understand protect your peace. I am all about, especially yo, especially if you're a POC woman, if you're a woman in POC, please protect your peace. And you know what? You know what I'm starting to realize? I feel like I need to start including men. Like I just, you know, I'm a POC woman, so I just feel it. But also I feel like men, you need to protect your peace as well. Like after I was like kind of diving into the manosphere thing in my other video, I just kind of realized that a lot of the negativity in the manosphere is a response. It's a response to the, it's a response to bullshit. And, um, you met like, seriously dudes, you need to protect your peace dudes, like men. And I feel like 
people are not telling you enough and of course like especially in this manosphere space they're not gonna there's no protect your peace element in the manosphere space like there's that doesn't exist in the manosphere space it's all about hustle hustle grind grind get your money so you can get that punani and if you want a family have a family too like actually just be a human being and protect your peace please there has been no change in behavior there has been absolutely nothing. Nope, girl. And how I know, I don't know when this video was posted, but the Gabby Hanna thing was so how many months ago, okay? Relatively recent, and you acting the same, calling out Gabby Hanna for what? Gabby Hanna re-brought up this issue when she contacted the family. Okay, Angelica, so why did you also go contact the family again just so you can make this gotcha video on Gabby Hanna? Like, why can't you move on? How come you're telling Gabby Hanna to move on, but you are exacerbating the issue? Hold on, that's a I have an alarm going off. Seeing it in this perspective, very, very good point. And it's something that normally you're gonna see good comments. So, you know, where does that boundary lie? Are you ignoring the hate or are you ignoring the criticism? Because if you're ignoring the criticism, then you're ignoring mm -hmm. your own growth. And if you're ignoring your own No, it's a balance. <laughs> She's talking about you know, the difference between blocking trolls and blocking hate and blocking criticism. And that's something that's very important to me as well, because my channel is criticizing other people, right? So if I'm criticizing other people and asking other people to get better, 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 then it makes sense that I should also want to get better as well. And I do. How I do, I mean, there's certain things that's just easy. Like, oh, you're making fun of my gap tooth, which actually, surprisingly, I haven't gotten an issue about the gap tooth in, well, except for one video that people were, somebody sent their little people to try to handle me. And it, and even then, it was just one person who said something, which is really surprising, which just goes to show how beauty standards change. Like, that's one thing that I, I'm so glad I learned as a child that beauty standards change. And I learned that because I have dual citizenship. So I was able to see, wow, when I'm over here, I am drop dead gorgeous. When I'm over here, people don't want to look at me. And then I started understanding, oh, okay, there's racism and yada, 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 colorism, yada, yada, yada over here, which doesn't, which you don't have to deal with over there. And anyway, the beauty changes, right? Because before I had to constantly educate people. You think you're dissing me, but my gap tooth is literally a beauty mark. Like, you know how y'all think it's cute to have a dot on your face? Like y'all use makeup to put dots on your face and you think it's cute. You don't see me making fun of you for that. There are people who will chip their tooth because they want it to look like this, where I'm from. So if you're trying to diss me, try harder. Like I had to do, I had to do that. But then we have all these models that have gap tooths and you're seeing, you know, Fenty Beauty and Dior. And I, I can't remember all the different, like every, every month I see at least one new model who has a gap tooth. So now it's like acceptable or cute or quirky. I don't know what it is. So anyway, I'm rambling. I'm rambling like this video is just going to be an hour. I'm sorry. It's going to be an hour. Um, but there are, I leave criticism up because I do want to learn from it. And I want people to see that I'm not going to, that I'm not going to block you just because you disagree with me. I want people to see that your opinion is valid. So if you disagree with me, I'm leaving it up where I draw the line is if you're trying to be stupid with me, I can't do it right? Like, like there are some people, they, they say something stupid, right? And I'll leave it up. I'll like, listen, I'll leave it up because I'm just going to give you the benefit of the doubt that you don't know. And I'll entertain it. And then if you just keep up the stupidity or insulting me, like you're, you're trying to insult me, you're trying to like, tell me how to run my, how to run my channel like you control me. Like, you know what I mean? Like if you're trying to be a clown, I, 
and you keep going. Like there's some people who just keep going. Like there's some people who will just keep commenting and it's like, you're an idiot. I'm blocking you. I don't have time for that. And sometimes it's getting to the point where somebody disagrees with me and I don't always reply. Like, and I can tell, I, yo, I can tell when people want me to reply so bad, but if you disagree with me in a respectful way and I see your point and what, and I used to reply just to engage in conversation. And what I've learned is that people think you're trying to fight them. (laughs) Like, it's like people don't, like online, it's just so hard for people to wrap their head around, wait, you disagree with me, but you're not trying to fight me or change my mind. You're, you're not trying to change my mind right now. Like it's, that's so hard for people to grasp, but I just don't even deal with it anymore. I just don't reply. I just leave your comment and I give you a heart. Sometimes people say something that's so stupid. I leave it up because it's just so apparently stupid that I just, you know, I figured, Hey, let other people have a chuckle. (laughs) So, I mean, it's a balance. It's a balance. But when you get a lot of people telling you something, um, you know, it behooves you to figure out why, you know, it behooves you to not just block them, but figure out why they, like telling you something that's related to the actual topic at hand. Not if you get a lot of people telling you that your nose is ugly, whatever. Oh, which that's another thing that made me mad. Like people are making fun of Gabby Hanna's nose. Like I understand, like there's a lot of things to make fun of Gabby Hanna for it, right? But like, that's another thing. Like, why are you making fun of her nose? Her nose is a very common nose from in a, from a certain part of the world that you just may not be privy to. Like, like I just, I will never understand people who make fun of other people's looks, like certain aspects of their looks. Like, why would you make fun of somebody for having red hair, for having freckles, for having, you know, a certain something on their teeth? Like, Like you're so uncultured that you can't comprehend that there are standards of beauty that are different than your own. Like, why would you make fun of people for their eye shape? Like, like, like that just, that's just the number one tell that you're dealing with an idiot. Okay. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. What else you got to say, Pearl? Block minorities or block people who are criticized for She's contributing to that environment. She, she, she wants Mm -hmm. like that. Another thing I've noticed about Angelica's pages she has a lot of people that talk about her looks in the comments. A lot mm, say, really? Oh, looks so beautiful, Sam. Oh, love yeah. Makeup. I love your this. Uh, your eyes are glowing. Your yeah. Makeup. It's just always something about her physical attributes. And I've, I have yet, of all of the years that I have followed her and listened to her videos, I have yet to see her comment to any of them and say thank you. And I'm not saying I'm out there looking for it. I'm just I know what that, you like, mean. Make a point on my channel. I do my best to say things. Yeah, positive. It's because we're. I mean, I feel. I feel like there might be some element of that she expects it. Well, first of all, she. I mean, she has a lot of people, but if she comments on the comment, it, you'll see it right when you're going through the comments. There, there's probably a, an element of just expecting that. Like that's just her expectation that you are going to compliment me on my looks, and for us. that we don't have that expectation so we are flattered the same way if somebody said it to us in real life we're flattered that you're appreciating us you know we're we're appreciative that you are acknowledging our beauty like you know like that might that might be you know comments because it took time for that person to write that comment you know what i mean and you know it might be something the famous person you know right now thank you to one of their fans in the comment section like oh my god Kylie I love you so much Kylie's not taking her time out (laughs) to say thank you to and neither is Angelica Olds so it just it's a competitive advantage that I personally feel like I want to always contribute to other YouTubers don't have to completely fine I understand that but it is something I've noticed I, I don't know anyways besides the point very very interesting to see I kind of want to know and I hate to say this but I kind of want to know Kenya's thoughts on it as well um Kenya's not going to give no time of day to this like Kenya's protecting her peace also brought up Angelica in her video anyways what I want to ask you guys is why do you think Angelica is such a high value youtuber in her space she's not high value no 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 she's not a high value youtuber She's a clout chaser. It's a difference. 
numerics, if we're just looking at numbers, she's high value, right? Like she displays the numbers of high value. When we're looking at actual content and contribution, she is, she is useless. She, she's useless. She, yo, I'm not gonna, I'm, she's useless. She provides no new thoughts. She provides no new information on the subject matter that she talks about. She, she, she does nothing. She doesn't have, she doesn't edit her. There's no editing quality. There's no, it's not like a, let me apply this amazing, beautiful makeup. Like there is nothing like it's, there is nothing it's giving. It does not give a thing. Like she is too, she is a use. She's. And why do you think she occupies the, the, the place that she occupies. And this is not a race debate, okay? I want to really know your thoughts on why you think so because anybody can sit down like I'm doing right mm -hmm. and talk into a camera and put it up and be done with the day. So explain to me and tell me what she does that's different from everybody else. And of course, this is even feedback and, and, and more information for myself. To Yo, let me tell you, girl. And, I, and I'm finna go in your comments, girl. I'm finna go in your comments and tell you, like I always do, but you know. Sometimes I get a little too controversial and YouTube, like YouTube has filters, right? If you t if you say certain things, YouTube will not post your comments. So let me just say on my channel, cause my video. But what I think it is, and I noticed that she's not doing it as much now. Like she still does it, but not like every time like she used to. Listen, Take advantage of being a white, blue-eyed blonde. Like, baby, take advantage, right? Like, we talked about it during the Gabby Petito thing. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, whatever you want to say, like, it is what it is. There is a fascination about people who, have, who are blonde with blue eyes. There's a fascination. Like, Trisha Paytas constantly right and you're thinking on the surface well it's because trisha acts so wild right but i don't know there's a lot of other people who act wild you know what i'm saying but they don't look like trisha paytas like there is something about blonde hair blue eyes listen if you have it work it ba baby I am not the kind of person who faults people for taking advantage of what they were given. Like, play the cards you were dealt. Take, like, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Right? Like, you know, like, take advantage. If you have a certain level of IQ, take advantage. If you have a certain talent, ability, take advantage. Like, you know what I mean? Like, take advantage of what you've been given. Unfortunately for some people, you know, we have to play games like <sighs> Eartha Kitt, one of my idols, she had to move to France, you know, Josephine Baker, she, like there's a lot of amazing, beautiful, gorgeous, black, talented people, men and women who had to move to France for their talent and beauty to be recognized. So when they came back to America, they can get the moolah because America is just on some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so that's one, right? Like already people want to look at her. People want to look at her face. She's young, blonde, blue eyes, fair skin. You got it. Like I don't, I still don't understand why white women are tanning. Um, like, I don't understand. Like, I know it's the thing. Like, I know a lot of white women, it's like, oh, I have to tan. I have to tan. I'm not, I'm not talking about black fish or anything. I'm just talking about like, just your tanning. Why do y'all do that? Like, don't you know that your skin is so favored? Like, it's so like, like they make Renaissance paintings. Like, like you just pinch yourself and it's pink there. You know, like that is an aesthetic that is historically applauded and lauded. Like the people who won history, which is the Western world, the Western Civ won history. When I say that, what I mean is everybody in the world has to learn about your people. You won history. And historically, your aesthetic without tanning is what's loved and applauded. Why, why would you hate like, okay, you tan if you want to tan, but why would you hate on your skin? Like, I don't understand when white people are like, oh my gosh, I'm so pale. And sometimes they say that to me, they're like, I'm so pale. And I'm like, 
yes. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not understanding that they're trying to be self-deprecative. Like, I, what is bad about being pale? Like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I just don't see, like, I'm so pale. Oh my gosh, my legs are so pasty. You're white. Like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I'm rambling. Anyway, <laughs> like, I just don't understand why, why would you, why would you dislike your skin color? Like, every, every skin color is beautiful. I don't. I don't know. I just, I don't relate. I don't, I don't understand. Um, so we, and you already know that girl. I know. I, I, I already know you know that, but here's the other thing that you're like, can you get to the point? Like I talk a lot. Listen, like I said, subscribe. If you vibe, you got a vibe, you get a vibe. I'm so sorry. You just have to vibe because that's just how I talk. She regurgitates information that's already given, right? So what she'll do is there's a drama and she know, she sees it's hot. And she used to do this with every drama like clockwork. She's getting more selective with the drama that she does this now too. But she used to do it to make sure that she's in your algorithm, in your queue, right? You're going to click on somebody who's blonde with blue eyes. Like just statistically, like you're going to click, right? And you're showing up all the time. All the time you're looking for a drama, she's showing up. And she is regurgitating things that were already said. So people feel like she's giving a lot of information. But actually what she did is she waited for Rich Lux, uh, Spill Tea. She, she waited for all these channels to explain the situation and give their opinion on it then she gets on camera and eats food or like puts eyeliner or whatever she does in her bed uh, in a hoodie and she regurgitates like dude there was one video that she was saying verbatim what two channels said she's she was I'm, i wish i was kidding she was saying verbatim what those other channels were saying. And that's when I realized. I'm not going to. I'm not going to give you value anymore. Your, you, your value in this T space has significantly reduced for me. But she just, she regurgitates what other people are saying. So. She has, so she sounds like she has a full picture and she also now understands what is the zeitgeist. So like, um, so like I mentioned before, she has double standards, right? Like Trisha Paytas says something and James Charles do the same thing. She likes one, she doesn't like the other. And that has to do with the hate train, right? Like there was a time where people were defending James Charles, myself included, um, there was a time where people were defending Trisha Paytas. There was a time um, people are hating on Gabby Hanna. And there are certain things where it's like it's debatable. It's like, oh, did that thing Gabby Hanna do? Like the maybe like the rice gum situation. Uh, do we blame Gabby? Do we blame rice gum? And that one was like a debatable thing. But what she does is she takes she takes whatever the prevalent prevalent opinion is of the T channels and their comments. She takes whatever opinion they have and she regurgitates it because those are the people who are into T. Those are the people who control the hate train. So she's going to always side with wherever the hate train is. So when you do that consistently, because the girl was on it for how long? Like a couple of years? When you're doing that consistently, you are on top of every drama. You are regurgitating a lot of information. So people think you have the full picture. You have the full story when actually you just waited a few days so you can listen to what everybody else has to say and you insert your opinion. So people feel like they're getting to know you. They feel like it's personable. They feel like, you know, they feel like you're, you're bringing something unique when actually you just brought the opinion of everybody else. And you have the advantage of you have a look that is universally applauded. You have a look that is univ like it's like having blue eyes and blonde hair and fa having that combination is rare. Not only is it rare, but it's also like ubiquitously like across the globe. It's if not attractive, eye catching, right? Like 
there are cultures where that's not attractive, right? But you still catch eye. Like, people are still looking at you. This combination... Do it, consi- do it consistently for a couple of years. You will get half a million. You'll get half a milli, right? And I don't think she's ever collabed. I don't think she's collabed. I'm impressed that she's done this with no collabs. But anyway, that's the answer to the question. And, that's, and the answer to your question is the reason why I don't F with her. That's the reason why I don't F with her. Well, that's the reason why I didn't like her. And then I decided I don't F with you because you really don't give a damn about the things that you're talking about. And your own friend is trying to help you become a better person. And you're going to throw your friend under the bus. She threw Smokey Glow under the bus. And she threw black women under the bus. And she playing dumb. It's like you're there's. Like, you're showing your ass too many times. I didn't even know about this Judaism stuff. I didn't even know about that. Um, and then I see the way that she's treating Gabby Hanna. Not, I'm, not, I'm not defending Gabby Hanna at all. But I am defending that, um, that she's right that some of you, a.k.a. Angelica Oles, were, you were doing too much. You are doing too much and you're no better than Gabby. You you are no better. That's the thing that I can't stand. You want to really sit here and try to gotcha Gabby Hanna when you are behaving exactly like her? You know what? At least Gabby Hanna had enough sense to say, I apologize to black women because I was very ignorant and I took it upon myself to educate myself more about like what you're dealing with and why what I did was offensive. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. It's not, it wasn't meant for you then. It wasn't meant for you. But at least Gabby Hanna, at least Gabby Hanna had enough sense to be retrospective about like what she did wrong that's insulting to a whole group of people. Instead of blocking, instead of blocking us, she made it a point to actually apologize. Whereas you, you want to say, well, it's just white people. <laughs> like that means anything. We're done. Thank you for watching. I needed to take a break from work. I'm going to go back to work. Um, and, um, oh, 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 ooh, so if you watch the end of this video, yeah, if you watch the end of this video, please put poor prints in the comments, in the comments. <laughs> What's that one Australian lady? I was like, please put in the comments. Put Paul Prince in the comments so that we know you were here and we know that you put a gang gang. I so appreciate all of you. And if you're just stopping by, if you vibe, subscribe. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out. Bye.